How's it going everybody? Picked up a 2013 Range Rover Sport Supercharged Autobiography. It's Fuji White. And there's the key. Show you a little bit of that later. It's unlocking it. See the puddle lights, other lights flash. Got the headlight button. And it will turn it off. The trunk will open, but will not close by this. Turn the flashing lights on. Alright, let's start out with the front of the vehicle. It has two cameras. You got parking sensors in the middle and on the side. On the autobiography, you have a silver front lip. You can find that on the GT model as well. Fog light shape is a little different. Grill is different. Black and silver. They had an actual color name for the grill. Can't remember the name of it though. Okay, as far as the vents on the side. Autobiography, it says Range Rover. Same kind of grill in the front, black surrounding. If this was a limited, it would be red for this piece here. Let's go to the wheels. Style 8, 20 inch size of the wheels. Say tires 275 40 R20. You have six piston Brembos. It's the black option, it says Range Rover on it. All right, now let's move a little forward here. You got the side. They're paint matched Fuji white. Comes on the autobiography that way. See the rear bumper is different on the autobiography. You got a lower piece that's silver. All the parking sensors. Chrome muffler tips. It's another feature that the autobiography has. Spoilers at angle of paint matched. There's the roof. the other camera, LED backlights, let's go to the tail lights now, your LED as well. The headlights have several different options, you have automatic, that setting runs just the LEDs, and that's the headlights fog lights, rear lights. I'll show you these. It's rather interesting. It's just a red light though. It's what just the LEDs look like. With the setting all the way up, it will not allow any lights on, including the interior lights. Let's 
show you what the headlights look like. What the headlights look like. By a Xenon, adjustable high beam. Has an intelligent light system. All the way up top you have a camera that actually adjusts for the lighting. Now for the fog lights, you have this button here, turn that on, you see the light on the right will come on and off when you turn it on and off. Over here, you see the auto light, that will actually adjust for high beam. High beam will actually come on when it decides that it's okay to have high beams on. That's what it looks like with the headlights and fog lights on. And there's with the rear light switch on, the button on, and the button I'm talking about is this button right here. You can see on the right side there, it's yellow. It will turn off. Turn it back on. All right, now I'm gonna pop the hood. It's a V8 5 liter, 510 horsepower, 461 foot pounds of torque, supercharged. The new 5.5.0 liter V8. From the rear, you'll see one of the logos. Actually, the only logo plaque would be the autobiography Sam Sport, besides the normal Range Rover lettering. All right, now let's open the trunk or hatch. Do it by the key. As you can see, just unlocks it. You have to go up here, press that. It won't let you open the rear hatch a second time after opening the first time with the remote. So normally if you have the fob on you and under here, Do that, it'll come up. And this is an interesting feature. If you close it and it hits it, it will lift back up. Let's see if I can show you again. It'll stop. Press it again and it will close. Pretty decent sized area. If you want to cover stuff, sometimes you have limitations. Actually, my S Class, in a way, has more room than this does, but then it's limited for height. Um, that it gives in with this cover though. So if I want to use this cover, lock 
locks in. But then it limits how high everything can be, obviously. That piece comes out if you don't want it. Then it rests in here, it rests in this notch. Down here you have different kind of anchor bolts or hook holes. Some more over there. This comes up. Comes up and you have slots for your normal jack and other stuff. It comes out. in there but it's a cubby hole that comes open. Back over here you have 12 volts. Alright now to the rear deck lid. You have handle which uh, you can pull down or you can press the button. And then carbon material here there's a subwoofer under there um, kind of interesting it's the old width of it. and it's different size here's the gas tank it's down open up premium cap will actually rest right here. Here's the puddle mirrors and there's the camera and the mirrors are paint matched as well as the door handles. With the door handles you have the option to lock it. Mirrors will fold in. Unlock it, will open, and the puddle lights will come on. Door hinge opens like that. Let's check out the interior. With the autobiography, you'll see inlaid in the door. You have black and red interior. Or as they like to call it, Monza theme, Plumento. The black is ebony. It's accented with metal. You have the speakers. Logic 7, Harman Kardon. It's an autobiography sport. These are the rubber mats, special to autobiography by having these metal ends, which are nice, but if they get too close to the plastic, they'll scratch it. As you can see, there's salt marks everywhere, wet water. Red and black seats. Maybe hard to see this. Let's see if I can get some lighting. See it says autobiography sport. Armrest. 
which is adjustable. Black with red stitching. This up. Steering wheel. Perforated black leather here. Red leather here, black stitching. You got metal horn buttons right and left. On the driver's side you have eight settings for the seats. Lumbar, which I guess you can consider ten at that point. Passenger side does not have lumbar. the center console. Here you have auxiliary and USB. Or let me phrase that I have USB and iPod connection connected by USB. Tray, refrigerator, you can store like cans, energy drinks, button to turn it on and off. One thing I don't like is the fact that you can't charge, or not charge, you can't turn it on while the vehicle's off. So say if you parked it somewhere and you wanted to keep your sodas cool or drinks cool, when you come back on a hot day, won't won't do that. I guess it just draw the battery down, but would have been a nice option. This slides for the cups holders. Press this. You got your cigarette light holder. An ashtray. This is for e-brake in a sense. Pull it back. Press it down. put it in park. Different adjustments and I'll go over that in a minute. Shift knob which is metal all the way down here on up to here. This is all leather. It's actually a split piece. So it splits here. This is all one side. And this is all the other side. Dash is black leather, black stitching, along with different, I guess this is like a rubber material throughout the vehicle, and I'll show you that in a minute. Here's the passenger side. Same autobiography sport logo. Speakers, cubby holes. Window switch. So you got leather here and this kind of rubber material here, kind of like a little tray to hold stuff. It's a metal handle or simulated to look like metal. I got crap in there now. Can hold a little bit of stuff in here. Interesting thing is, when you open it and try to close it, it's not, you can't close it, you gotta slam it. Lights for your feet. Another metal handle here. For the autobiography, it comes with a leather holder matched. This happens to be the red one. And 
I guess I was wrong about the lumbar part. Actually has multiple powerway and lumbar. Something to notice here is there's suede or some kind of fleece material there. And on the center you have uh, that same material again. It's pretty nice. It actually, I guess, helps stuff from not getting scratched. And another one was on the seat belt. Let's see if I can hold it back and show it to you. It's almost like a soft case of Velcro. Keeps it from scratching stuff here, including the piano finish there. All right, now let's check out the rear. Doors have the same red leather, red stitching, metal side inserts, metal look buttons and handle, autobiography sport inlay, black piano finish, Black leather, red stitching. Got the window button. Logic 7 speakers. <clears throat> There's the side of the actual seat. Got the airbag tag. Red stitching, black leather. There you got rear entertainment down here there's no logo or anything for a plaque the rubber mats that metal piece some kind of felt on the bottom of that yeah, interesting interior thing is this is like felt going all the way around Felt material. Got light. Two speakers. Another light over there. Rear seats as well have autobiography sport embossed. The headrest, that black with red stitching. The rest of it's red. Now for the center console, you gotta go behind it. Headrest don't move that smoothly out and but anyway got a little armrest here black leather black stitching got this button here lift it up you have a controller for the rear entertainment you press it down pops up has charging ports for the controller. So as far as moving these seats, you have this, moves up. All the underneath stuff. This has a latch there. Press that. Or pull it. And 
And I got more space. Another feature on the rear doors. Walkout lights or floodlights, puddle lights, whatever you want to call it. All right, now being inside, just have the key in my pocket. Got ignition mode, moves your seat for memory. And if you hold the brake, turn it on. So right now it's in park, Bluetooth audio already connected for phone and uh, Pandora if I have the Pandora playing or iPod connection. All right, so down here, Lift up or press down. Ah. So without pressing the brake, so I have to press the brake and do this. Release the parking brake. Here's some of the navigation menus for the instrument cluster. Say so mileage, average speed. Destination to empty. Now I'm going to go through the menu for the different settings. Program off, or I can do dynamic, gravel snow, mud ruts, sand, rock crawl. Then it'll tell me select low range to activate rock crawl, sand, it'll tell me nothing. Mud ruts, recommended low range, it's selected for mud ruts. It'll actually pre select some of the settings. Now, if you do it here, here's just a basic menu. You can go audio, and audio will show my phone. Auxiliary, USB, iPod, DVD, DVD, CD changer. If I go to video, it's like that. Okay, USB, DVD, CD, and do rear media. Radio, go back out of that. Extra features, you have four-wheel drive features, and even controlling it, <coughs> or was it, uh, go to the I button, and do all the different settings there, and it'll actually, even if you do it from your console, it'll still show it there too. Show that information having locked or unlocked the height. Get out of that. Back to extra features, cameras. Now that it will show the different cameras, all five of them. Now, say if I wanted to use the right one and the right camera one on the mirror, and it hit large, and it'll show both. See how many I can do. Let's do these. It'll only allow you to do two at a time, it looks like. Yep, only two at a time. You have special views. Back out. Some of it. Um, go to audio settings and show uh, show Logic Seven if you have Logic Seven. Down here you have the rubberized knobs for the volume. 
Same thing with the mode. Power on and off. And here you have the heated seat. You can open the trunk, can't close it from here. Your CD, DVD slot. Parking sensor. See, it won't work unless you have it. If you have it in drive, it'll come on. Turn it off. This is nice. If you turn it on, on the screen you'll have parking aid alert, and it'll actually tell you up here on the right if you're getting close to something, and it'll tell you how close you're getting by degrees of uh, lines. And it'll get redder and redder. Same thing with the back. And you can just turn display off if you want. Or just press that. Go back to the park. Now here, I decided to turn the interior lights on. So you got, turn it back off. You got side, side, center. You got the sunroof. It'll open, close, all down. And you got oh. press that one, it'll just tilt just a little bit. Shut it. All right. I'll back down to the console. You got the heating. If you notice, if it goes automatically high, it will automatically boost it all the way up. You got the different regions: floor, front, all those. Heated windshield. Heated rear, full circulation, front circulation, and this actually will control the heated mirrors as well. Which, actually, speaking of mirrors, this mirror is auto dimming. These mirrors are not. That is really odd for a vehicle of this, uh, I guess, price range level all that you have three different uh, garage door openers now with this if you put it in drive you can go over to manual go back out and park or you have paddle shifters plus Minus. It's regarding the steering wheel, you have other settings here. Cruise control, which it does not have the uh, cruise control, kind of like Distronic Plus Mercedes has. It's uh, it's not the radar controlled. Answer call, hang up, voice command. Uh, on this side, you have the volume up and down. Right, left for tracks, horn, windshield wiper, for front and rear. And over here, you got the info button here. High beam, low beam, high beam, high beam by manual, high beam always on and the auto setting that I spoke about earlier. Put this back over here. That is all the different settings for um, either raising or lowering the vehicle, hill assist, it'll actually pre-brake for you, high or low, and the terrain settings.
Here's another feature or option. If you notice the headliner is black or ebony. It is like a cloth material. It's not suede. That is an uh, extra option. It does cost more to get black. There's the visor. Does cover a pretty good range. Got memory seats. Alright, I guess that's about it. As always, thanks for watching. Please rate, subscribe, like, dislike. Let me know what y'all think.